Right, hello buddy, English Woods from here. Welcome to my YouTube channel, most of all, thank you very much for clicking on my video. Today we're out, we're taking a look at a Rhino Valley hoop bivy tent, or you can call them a one man tent, low profile one man tent. Now, I've seen this tent on Amazon for the past 10 months maybe. I think during all this lockdown's happened, I think we've all been in a lot of Amazon shopping for equipment. And I've always decided to end it there. No, I don't really need it. But I think if you subscribe to my channel, you know I do like stealth camping. I like to be out of the way sometimes. So another low profile one man tent is probably something else I need and to bring it to the channel, different equipment to use in different videos. So this Rhino Valley tent, it's a one man hoop bivy tent. Say it all in one, no confusions then. Now I've had this tent out, you know, in the living room, had a quick look at it. And there's one thing they didn't do, and that's send any instructions. So a bit of information what I need, I've written down there for you. And I've uh, screenshotted some off Amazon, i put that on screen in a bit for you. Now here's the question before the video starts and please do comment because the more comments that I get on this sort of answer it, it does reflect on what I say in the next videos to do with reviewing tents and stuff. This costs 50 quid off Amazon like I say and previously I've said you know a low budget tent and I've had some people say it is a low budget, I've had people saying £50 is not a low budget. Now what do you call a £50 tent is it a low budget or isn't it a low budget i'm not going to give my answer on that so do comment and let me know would you say it's a low budget tent for 50 pound so we get as pegs and as alley poles thank god they're not the fiberglass poles that's all i say Take a look at the poles. Seven mil thick. So they're not the thickest, so you know you might want to take a little bit of care when using them. Right, so you get two IOs, you get one on the the black strap and then you get a bright orange one they're not colour coordinated these poles so I presume you just put them in whichever one you want to put it in like so get the next pole yeah no instructions so I had it to Amazon let's see what they said on the Selling point of the tent. It's a simple shoelace knot. We're not spending a night in it, we're just putting it up to show you. And there's one on the other side, and I just noticed with the opposite side is the second I pulled these 
like that it makes a lot of difference to the way the tent comes to shape You get nine of these lightweight alley pegs, I think they are, they might be titanium. Alley or titanium, they won't over. Like I say, sometime in video after this part, I'll uh, put the link, well, not the link, like the screenshot, on the screen so you can check it out for yourself. Right, so at the bottom of the tent, you're going to find out you've got this little diamond cutout point. Let's make sure that's in the video for you. And you get this little bit of paracord with an adjustable part on it. What we need to do is... Pass on this on here. So there you go, that's what it looked like without the fly sheet on. If you want to do a little bit of summer night camping when it's a really warm day, this is probably a really good small tent for that. It's 95% mesh from the inside. I always do have a bit of a concern that any tents having this flat spot here. I do expect the uh, fly sheet to have the same sort of design there. If you don't put your fly sheet out properly, you could have a build up of rain or snow if you've taken it out at winter time. Right, you know when you get them tents and they've got the annoying bits of rope or string what you have to fasten there these have done it with the velcro that is a really good idea all the seams in the stitching double stitching and it seems to be covered with like a uh, heat heat uh, heat sealed yeah they do seem pretty well sealed from both sides as well that's definitely going to help with waterproofness once again just a bit further down they've done the velcro strap parts oh yeah when you fasten them you do feel the tension there Right, when you come at the bottom to clip it out, you'll see you've got just a simple clip. Give it a bit of a, an adjustment like that. Clip it in. Right, so it's all up, ready to go. The sheet, fly sheet, does look like it's just been designed just to throw over it, get it pegged out for that 
cover from the rain. Yeah, it just seems like there's a bit too much material for the fly sheet. I'm wondering if it's going to sag down as it gets wet on the inner. I'm going to be honest now, and in some of my review, review videos, I do like to be honest, just in case you're looking to buy this sort of tent. I do not think it's a three seasons or even a four seasons tent. If you're going to buy this tent, I'd just probably say late spring, summertime, probably to the back end of summer. I'd check what the weather's going to be like for the rain. I just don't think this tent is any greater than the summertime. I really don't. I don't know if it's the quality of the tent or the way it looks. The material feels all right, but it's just, there's just something about the, yeah, let's say the quality of it, it just doesn't seem to me that it'll do you as a, a small winter tent. In winter camping anyway, you're always going to want a bigger tent. So if you're a one man, you get a two man tent, so you've got room to move around in. But for this tent, I'd say it's mainly a summer tent. At the bottom, you've got this massive air thing part here. So you've got a plenty of airflow. Then where your head is, your head area, it's same again, it's shaped there, so you get some nice airflow in there to help cut down on that condensation. On the inside, like I said, it's 95% mesh, so that will help with condensation as well. There's no room at the side for your, your shoes, any rucksack, so you're gonna have to squeeze it all in with you. They say you can sit up inside it, I do doubt that. There's not, not enough room to sit up in it. Right, I'm just going to blow the air mat up. And while I blow the air mat up, see how it fits in. I'm just going to leave all the stuff on the side of the screen for you. You can pause it if you want. I'll leave it up there for a, a decent length of time anyway. So you can check out all the information in case you're wanting to buy one. So if you're a side sleeping person and you need a thicker air mat and you're going to have your sleeping bag, your sleeping bag is going to end up touching the inner of the mesh. If you like to use a normal air mat, you know the very fine thin ones, yeah you might still touch the mesh so that's something you do need to think about. But yeah there's plenty of room for the, for the air mat. Any room for your rucksack is going to have to probably near your head. I don't know how people think about that. So they say you can sit up in it. Yeah, absolutely no chance. Right, so I hope you like this video. Instead of me running through all the measurements and the uh, hydrostatic head and all the material I did put it on the screen for you I think it just saves a lot of time so you can quickly pause it check out what you want to see and that gives me more time to show you more of the tent like I said earlier I don't think it's a winter camping tent late spring summer early autumn you might get away with it but do check the weather now if you like this video you want to see more review videos wild camping, stealth camping, ration pack eating, you can check out by hitting this subscribe button here. Have a look at more of my videos there. I'll put a camping video up there for you and probably another review of a tent here for you so you can see that. Yeah, so most of all, if you did enjoy this video, please do subscribe, give me a video a thumbs up and I'll definitely see you next time.